We're going to do some of the different techniques you'll use for things. To start with, we'll do the most basic one, and that's a lock twist. You use this to make legs and stuff like that. If you want to lock this bubble into here, all you're going to do is twist them together. That's what you do for legs for horse, dogs, cats, all kinds of stuff. So that's a simple lock twist. You can also use a lock twist to form what's called a three bubble roll or a bird body. And that's taking two bubbles that are the same size lock twisted together, a third bubble the same size. I hold this like a Wii remote because it's the easiest way. I bring these two bubbles to you and I use these fingers on both hands like hooks and roll these two bubbles over the third one. And then once you do, you pull this down, pull this up, that locks everything together, and that's called a three bubble roll or a bird body. To do a loop twist, all you're gonna do basically is fold the balloon. It's also called a fold twist because all you do is fold it and twist it together. It's kind of like a lock twist, only they're not locking stuff into place with more than one bubble. It's one bubble that forms a loop. You use it, we use it for our dog's ears, you can use it for part of a poodle's head, you use it for all different kinds of things as well. The next one is going to be a pinch twist or an ear twist. Normally a pinch twist is made like this, one bubble that you fold everything out of the way, you pinch it, which is why it's called a pinch twist, pull up a little and twist it around a few times. It's called a pinch twist. It's also called an ear twist because you use it for ears for things like um, characters or our monkeys will get this ear. Um, another way this can be made is at the beginning of a balloon. If you use it at the beginning, you're going to have one bubble that is twisted all by itself. That's what makes it a pinch twist. And what you're doing is twisting this with that and you just twist it together. Then you can let go of this and it should stay. Another thing you can do with a pinch twist is called splitting a pinch twist. It's also sometimes called a toe twist because you can use it for toes for like reptile style animals. Take a pinch twist and hold the left side. I usually turn my wrist away from me and grab the right side and twist this bubble in half. Once you twist this to you, you take the other side and twist it away from you a couple times. Another thing you can do with a pinch twist is something called a pinch and pop series where you have a pinch twist, a bubble that you're going to pop, followed by another pinch twist. And if these pinch twists are made well, you should be able to pop this bubble and then those will stay, keeping the balloon from deflating. This is something I usually recommend splitting the pinch twist before you pop these because it'll stay a little better than that will. The final twist that we're gonna learn is called an apple twist or a tulip twist. Take your finger on the tip of the balloon on the nozzle itself. I shove my finger into the first knuckle with the nozzle on the tip. The nozzle's about right here inside the balloon. I usually grab about three quarter inches past the nozzle, push in and grab the nozzle with my um, pincher fingers on my left hand. My right hand, I roll this balloon off of my finger. If you pull your finger out, you're gonna pop it, so I roll it off. Then you can twist this bubble, and then what I do is roll this bubble a little bit so the nozzle goes back up into the bubble. And this is called an apple twist or a tulip twist. We use it for pig's noses and other types of things like that.